welcome back friends welcome back to the homestead this little box of tricks here is measuring how much water is in my water tank and beaming the information back to the home and onto my phone so at any moment i know how much water is in our tank and whether the tank is leaking or um, needs topping up and all that kind of stuff in this video i'll show you how i made it um, last year no, over a year ago, I made a video about the kind of principle of how it worked, but now here is a practical application um, working, and I can show you how I made it, how you can make it, and all the code and stuff like that, and add it onto um, your existing network of things. Okay, so here's uh, the box of tricks, as it were. Normal kind of hobby box, ABS. And then on top, um, I've got a 3D printed enclosure, especially for the ultrasonics. That's just kind of pressure fitted on. It does come off quite nicely. Um, and I will probably seal that with a, with a piece of glue. You can't, there's no point kind of uh, waterproofing sealing it because it's open to the elements there. Well, it's not open to the elements, as you see. Um, so let's open the box and have a look what's inside. And I'll just talk you through that. It's actually really simple. Um, so inside the box, we've got our um, ESP32 programmed. Got the Wi-Fi end here. I've talked about these before. <clears throat> and it's just four wires, really. Uh, five, well, five wires. I've got my power, power pack underneath. I don't know how long these batteries will last. Um, but we'll find that out part of the experiment um, and then with our ultrasonic we've got two we have well we have plus five volts and ground and then we have um, the signal for the ping and then the signal for receiver which receives the ping so one one sends the ping out one sends the ping back receives a ping and measures, and of course then the, the maths uh, measures the difference between the two to get the depth. That's so really, really very simple, and obviously it's on off switch as well uh, down here. But very simple, compact setup, and I just soldered it onto this um, uh, prototyping board here. Very simple. And then that all fits nicely back together. So um, let's have a quick look at the code, see what's going on with the code. Um, I'm not giving a demo on Wi-Fi, so this assumes that you know how to connect your um, device ESP32 to Wi-Fi and how to use MQTT, which is the, the way in which it communicates with the Raspberry Pi to send the packets of data. So um, there's all the Wi-Fi stuff um, and the settings. Now, sleep settings, this is where, um, obviously I don't need to know the data of the water tank every second, but I might wanna know it every hour or um, twice a day or something like that. And you can put the, to save the batteries, we can put the um, microcontroller to sleep for a certain number of seconds. Um, now for testing, I just put 60 seconds, but obviously later on, um, I will decide if I want it for um, an hour or whatever, and I'll change this setting. So we are going to be putting it to sleep later on. Then we define our ultrasonic settings. Speed of sound is constant, which is 343 meters per second, but we need it in um, microseconds, which is a millionth of a second. So that's the, <clears throat> that's the way we do it for um, a millionth of a second. Our trigger pin, so that's the pin that sends, um, tells the ultra um, sonic sensor to start pinging, is number five, leg number five, um, GPIO five, and the echo pin which receives the data from the ultrasonic sensor is pin 18. Um, that we then need to know the duration of the um, ping and the distance to be calculated. And we also need some variables on how big is our actual tank so we can do the maths of um, calculating the volume of water in the tank. Now, um, so for an IBC tote tank, 
Um, these are those calculations. Um, and uh, we'll do some more maths to get us the liters. Then we've got some more, this is all our uh, Wi-Fi connection and MQTT stuff, which like I say, I'm not covering in this video. So um, then we have our function to actually get the values. And what we do is we tell um, the ultrasonic sensor to turn on and start pinging, do that for 10 microseconds. And then we collect um, that, it does the calculation of uh, how long it takes. And then we collect that data back into the ESP32 to do some processing. Um, to get our distance, then we need to know the duration of the ping and the speed of sound. And obviously we need to divide it by two because we've got the ping down to the water surface and then um, the return back up to the sensor. And we only need the one, we need to divide it by two because we only need to, the displacement is only one, obviously, um, one reading the ping down to the water level. And then we do the calculation here to, to work out basically how many liters is in the tank, um, which is just your um, volume calculation. Um, and then um, this is the actual loop. So this is the bit that goes around and around and around. Um, there's some reconnection stuff for the Wi-Fi. We won't do that. There's where it calls the function to get the values. Here, where we send those values back to the Raspberry Pi as an MQTT um, packet of information. This is where we print to the screen, which I'll show you in a minute, that information. Um, for the purpose of running the code, obviously on the box, we don't need that later on. There's a short delay. Um, and then here, at the bottom, um, if we then want to do the function where we put the device to sleep, that's where we uncomment it. Um, and this one here. So put the device to sleep and um, put it into a deep sleep back down here. So um, that's where it would take that 60 seconds or however many seconds you set it as, and it would uh, put the device to sleep and then it would wake itself up later on. Um, and then what happens is here we are as it's publishing um, just on the screen here on the serial monitor, it's telling me the liters. If I put my hand over the device, then it will change down to, I put my hand closer so it thinks the water level is higher. And as I raise my hand up and go higher and higher and higher, make sure I get it in the right place. <clears throat> you can see that the water level is rising or lowering as the case may be, but the uh, the distance is rising. There, so that's how it all works. I hope that is clear. I'll leave a link to the code um, somewhere so that you can copy it, but it is a um, pretty ubiquitous set of code for the actual... Obviously, if, if you're just interested in this screen bit here, then you don't need all the Wi-Fi stuff, but most people are actually using it for a project to send, like I am, I need to know how much water is in that tank. Um, so it can detect leaks and stuff like that if the water level goes down quickly. So um, I'll send a link to that code um, so you can copy it and use it as you wish. So what we need to do next is fit this to the lid. So this will actually sit upside down. So the, the ping goes down to the water obviously and then comes back up. And that this is the lid for the IBC tote. So this needs to be, um, I need to, make a hole here, an aperture, uh, to fit this. This will fit snugly over the top of that. Um, and it is relatively weatherproof, actually, as it happens, because this is sealed here, and this is just in at the top of the tank. So um, water shouldn't be able, we can, we can water seal this around, but obviously at a later date, we wanna, might wanna take this off, change the batteries and things like that. So, um, yeah, so I need to just measure this, here and then draw a uh, cut out there and then we can fit this through that. Okay, so I thought you might want to see this thing working. Now the um, Wi-Fi antenna is just over there on the side of the greenhouse. So to get line of sight, um, I need to come out here rather than in the office. So um, we'll switch this thing on. <clears throat> there we go. Now by moving it about, the ultrasonics will bounce off on the ceiling and it will take a measurement from the ceiling. And you should be able to see that change 
if I move it up and down on the screen, or I could turn it upside down and bounce it off the ground. Hopefully it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Obviously I can't see that I'm out here, but you'll see it on the screen once I'm editing this. There we go. So you can see that, as you've just seen, it's saying 556 litres. Um, there's the plastic markings on the tub, 500. It's somewhere between 500 and 600. Perhaps it needs a tiny bit more calibration um, just because of the final placement of the sensor. Um, but essentially it's, you know, correct. I'm not going to worry about too much about um, 10 or 20 litres when you're looking at a thousand litres capacity. Um, so there it is all working. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything that wasn't clear, do let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer those questions. Um, I know sometimes how frustrating it is if you... There's loads of good examples out there of coding, but when you're, you know, essentially a gardener or homeowner and you want the practical application, it's sometimes quite difficult to find those videos where someone's actually applied it in real life rather than just on their desk. Um, so here we are. Um, do reach out to me and I'll try and help as best I can. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, lots more automation videos coming soon, hopefully, including a rebuild of the box that's in the um, passive solar greenhouse. Um, if you've got any other questions, I'll say just do let me know in the comments. Any thumbs up, um, appreciated. And I'll look forward to seeing you in another video very soon. Bye for now.